Hello world, double thumbs here. The concept of minimalism is definitely an interesting topic that has been discussed a million times in the last couple of years. And it tends to have multiple definitions just because the concept itself is about keeping only the essential goods. And a lot of different people find a lot of different things essential. Some people do it to save money and to reach financial independence. And some people do it to escape from the hectic and stressful life. Recently, I've been reading more into this concept and it makes me think about a lot of things. Let's talk about whether this minimalist living works for most people. So first, we'll talk about some benefits of minimalist lifestyle. And these include that you have less worries. Because the whole concept focuses on selling everything and only keeping the things that you need, you don't have to worry about a lot of things. You worry about things breaking your belongings and your properties because you have them. If you don't own anything or you, if you own very little things, you don't have to worry about them being damaged. And the second thing is that it saves a lot of money. Again, you sell, sell everything that you don't need and you only rarely buy things that you do need. They're gonna save a lot of money. You don't need the big mansion or the new BMW or the newest iPhone. All you need is a an adequate living space and a car that works that gets you from point A to point B and also a smartphone that works. And the third positive is the time that you save because you're not buying or maintaining all these properties. And with the time saved, you can spend it on things like spending time with your friends and family or focusing on the things that make you happy. Last thing is the success. You define your own success and you don't you become free from what society defines as success, which are normally materialistic achievements like having the most having a million dollars or or having a fancy car and, or having a high paying job. So you're free from all of that because you're only keeping what you need, what's valuable to you. But things aren't always rainbows and sunshine in the world of minimalism either. Definitely has some flaws and a few questions popped into my head while reading about the concept. And the first is, what if our essentials are relatively expensive and complex things? Since minimalism and minimalist living isn't about deprivation, you're supposed to still enjoy the things that you really value. But what if they're really expensive things? For myself, I like driving cars and that's not because I like owning nice cars and looking at them, just because I find the act of driving enjoyable and that makes me happy and the sound of a high revving engine are all these things, all, all these things make me feel happy. So I want to be, I want to be able to do them. And another th hobby that I've gotten into since starting YouTube is cameras. And again, it's, I like cameras because I like producing images that are clear and sharp. And I want to keep my memories as crisp and as real as possible. Not because I like owning multiple lenses and cameras. But the, both of these things, they're what they what most people would consider luxuries and they're quite expensive and people might argue that it's not a necessity. But other than these two things, I rarely spend money on any other non-essential goods. I don't spend, I don't go to the movies a lot or I don't go to, I don't go to concerts or anything like that. So this is what I spend on. So. I guess I am a minimalist in that way, but again, these are considered luxuries by some people, so they might say that I'm not a minimalist. 
and I always take a long time to make purchases in these items. I do a long research to make sure that this item, the particular camera or the car is worth the money that I'm spending. And I've become quite good at picking out the bang for the buck cameras and cars. I think anyways. And the second question that popped into my head was what if we're already living pretty minimalistically? Minimalism suggests that we can save money by not spending on things that we don't need and also selling things that we don't need. But the thing is, most of us, including myself, will have some form of debt, whether it be student loans, mortgage payments, car payments, or other financial expenditures, we will have some debts. And since most of us aren't fortunate enough to get a small loan of a million dollars from our families. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. We're probably not living lavishly to begin with. And of course, everybody's different. Everyone's gonna have a different experience adopting minimalism to their life. But if you're already living pretty frugally, it might be a case of you give up a few things that you don't need but make you happy to save a few bucks. And it's not gonna have a significant impact in your life in terms of happiness, then you might really question the benefit of less is more. And the third question I had was that sometimes, in my opinion, we should focus on smart purchases rather than just getting rid of everything that you don't need. For example, if you were to buy two cars for about $10,000 and if you don't use one of them because it's a more niche vehicle or a summer vehicle, someone might say you're wasting that car and you really don't need that car. But I think it's a better purchase than buying an economy car that's brand new for a ten, about $10,000 that's gonna depreciate 30% off the lot. So in a way, it's more important to spend money wisely than to just try to save and save and save. Obviously, it's better to have both things happen at once, but I think in my opinion, I'm okay with a little bit of wastage as long as I make the best purchase possible. And as I said before, I research extensively before making any purchases to make sure that I'm getting the best bang for the buck. And I'm okay with a little bit of a wastage as long as I make that perfect or value purchase. So what I take away from minimalism. I really do like the concept of selling everything and keeping only the things that you need. It's a very efficient way of living and it reduces wastage, which I value and which most of us strive to do. But I do disagree on some points. Maybe it's a different spectrum of minimalism. I accept that I might buy some things that I don't need but want. And I can keep them as long as I made a value purchase at the time and did my research so that I'm not spending money stupidly. As long as I'm doing value purchases and smart spending, I'm okay with a little bit of a wastage. So if the extreme minimalism is about having an output or happiness of two with an input or ownership of one thing, I'd rather have happiness or output of five with an input of two or having two things. And that's just how I like things. I mean, it's, life isn't about numbers, but you get what I mean. And as I've said in the beginning of the video, the concept of minimalism tend to have a wide variety of definitions. So let me know what you think down below. And until next time, bam.